This evening, Arvada police released disturbing new surveillance video showing the man responsible for Monday's deadly shooting in Old Town, Arvada. We want to warn you, this may be uncomfortable to watch for some viewers. The video shows Ronald Troike leaving his pickup truck with a shotgun, running up and apparently yelling at Officer Gordon Beasley. Beasley didn't even have time to reach for his gun before he was shot. Now the video cuts to Troy Key walking back to his truck and exchanging his shotgun for an AR-15 as frightening, frightened people try to hide. Denver 7 Chief Investigator Tony Kovaleski has been gathering new information all day. He joins us now with the latest. We've seen a steady stream of people coming here to the memorial for Officer Gordon Beasley paying tribute as all of Colorado continues to mourn what happened on Monday. Also today, we learn new critical details of those final moments, what caused the shooting and what caused the events that then followed. I want to take you through a timeline right now. This is what we understand. It was made public by the Arvada Police Department late on Friday. Starting at 1249, the gunman's brother calls police for a welfare check because his brother is, quote, going to do something crazy. Then at 108, about 10 minutes later, Officer Beasley and another officer arrive at the gunman's home. They do not make contact with him. Now 117, 11 minutes later, about 10 minutes later rather, dispatchers get a call about a suspicious person in Old Town. Officer Beasley arrives to check out that call at 1.30. That's when the gunman runs out of his truck, according to Arvada police, yells at Beasley and shoots him twice as he turns around. Then the gunman shoots the windows out of a nearby patrol car, runs back and grabs an AR-15. Moments later, the gunman is confronted and shot dead by Good Samaritan Johnny Hurley. Hurley then picks up, and this is the critical new piece of information, the AR-15, the gunman's AR-15, and is then shot by an Arvada police officer. Just before Arvada police released that information, Hurley's family released a statement through a DA's office today. This is the Jefferson County DA's office, and here's that statement. As a family, we ask that there not be speculation in the media while the facts are being determined. It helps no one. We ask that our privacy be respected while our grief is still so fresh. We ask that any media inquiries be directed to the First Judicial District Attorney's Office. DA's office also released a statement earlier in the day, and it reads in part, We are committed to transparency and the complete results of the investigation into Johnny Hurley's death, and all pertinent facts will be made known at the completion of the investigation, when all witnesses have been interviewed and evidence collected, and when doing so does not compromise reaching a just result. Also in the statement from the Arvada Police Department, this is important because it's a question of the motive. Why? Why did the gunman do what he did? This is part of a letter that they recovered on the scene. There were several bullet points, but we're going to share three with you. One, he wrote, my goal today is to kill Arvada PD officers. Also writing, today I will kill as many Arvada officers as I possibly can. And then it included, I just hope I don't die without killing any. And you can read the rest. Finally, in the statement from Arvada police, there was this. It is clear that the suspect bears responsibility for his tragic sequence, for this tragic sequence of events. In Arvada, I'm Chief Investigative Reporter Tony Kovaleski.